Hey everyone and welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how to evaluate a KDP no content or low content book niche and determine whether it's going to be worthwhile publishing a book in that niche on Amazon, i.e. is it going to make any money? <laughs> and I'm going to show you using numerous examples, some from my secret little black book of niches, the five points or five step process I take or do to quickly evaluate a niche and come to a decision on whether one, to go straight into it and publish a book, to reject it completely outright, or to put it on the back burner to research and go into it into more depth in terms of things like keyword research. Now, if you've not been to this channel before, then welcome. My name is Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep it and grow it. And that's your money I'm talking about. If you do like videos like that, then please do give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell to receive notification of when I produce more videos like this. Now, I recently did a video on how I go about finding niches to publish on Amazon. And I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. This video is the next step on from that, and that is evaluating the niche to determine whether it's worthwhile your time pursuing further and whether there's any potential money to be made in that niche. If you're new to this, if you're a beginner to this and you're wondering what a niche is, well, it's just a specialized category or area of books on Amazon. And examples of this would be coloring books, handwriting books, puzzle books, accounting books, if you like. Now, I'm going to be using two plugins that make life a lot easier for us when we're doing our research on Amazon. And those are DS Amazon Quick View and AMZ Suggestion Expander. And I'll show you how we use those as we go through the examples of niche research in a moment. And what I suggest doing if you are a beginner is maybe when you're first doing this is just have a checklist of those five points that I look through. And then when you are doing your own niche research, you can just tick those off. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Now, first of all, I'm just going to use a general example of coloring book for kids. Now I am in the all category and not the books category. That is important. I have done a video on that on my channel. Now, First thing we want to look at, step one, are there sales being made in this particular niche? And the way we determine that is to look at the best sellers ranks. Now I ignore the sponsored listings here and I scroll down to the first row of the organic listings. And what I'm looking at is these numbers here, which is the best sellers ranks. And you can see we've got the DS Amazon Quick View plugin installed, which gives us these best sellers ranks at the bottom of our books, which saves us having to go through and click on each book to find out what this number is. Now, what I'm looking for are on the first page, three or more books with best sellers ranks of less than 300,000. Because if that's the case, it means there are sales or worthwhile sales being made in this particular niche. And so it's worthwhile exploring further by going on to the next steps. Now you can see here, on this first row straight away, we've got four books that have bestsellers ranks of less than 300,000. So straight away, I know there's money or potential money to be made in this niche. Okay, the next question I ask or step two is, are there KDP books being sold in this particular niche? And the way we do that is just to hover over the books again with that plugin that I've just mentioned installed, it will give us these details here and we look at the publisher. Here it says create space independent publishing platform. That's a KDP book. If we go to this one here, it says independently published. That's a KDP book. This one here on the hot books limited, that's not a KDP book. And we can scroll down and look further just to get more ideas. Again, KDP, K not KDP, KDP. So you get the idea. So. This fulfills my next criteria. Yes, there are KDP books being published here. Now, normally it's usually a make or break on those first two points. Is there money being made and are there KDP books? So straight away, it's yes on both of these. So this is a niche I would really want to go into, but we don't stop there. What I want to do next is ask myself, how easy is it going to be to create a book in this particular niche? And what I first of all do is have a look at the cover designs. Now these are very bright, attractive, professional looking covers. Now, if you're an illustrator, artist, a graphic designer, then these may be easy for you to create. If you're not, you can create these with some practice and skill and learning, or you can outsource it. So it's going to maybe cost you 
um, an investment in terms of time and money. If we have a look inside one of these colouring books, this unicorn colouring book, we can see there's images here that look original and professionally drawn. Again, the same applies. You may need to uh, spend time creating it or outsource it, which is going to cost you money. So there's money to be made in this niche. There's KDP book books. And the third criteria, it is going to take time uh, and maybe money in investment terms to create one of these books. Next thing I look at is, are there sponsored ads being run in this niche? And usually these are on the first row. We can see here where it says sponsored. These are all sponsored ads. And if we scroll down, there's usually another row of potential ads, which are here. All the ad spots are filled on this first page. So if I'm thinking about running ads, if it's a competitive niche, then I'm going to probably have to pay some money to compete with these other books in order to get on that first page, which is where I want to get my books if I'm going to be making sales. That's not a deal breaker. It just gives me a, an, an idea about the niche. And the next thing I look at is the search results. Now it says 60,000 here, that's very high. So this is a very competitive niche. So in order to go into this niche, I'm going to have to do some further research. I'm gonna to have to find what's called keywords or search terms that people are putting into the Amazon search bar. The way we can do this just quickly is by going to the area where we've typed in our search term, coloring book for kids, and we can see Amazon is giving us further suggestions. That other plugin I mentioned, AMZ Suggestion Expander, is giving all these other keywords. So that's our five points or five steps. Sales are being made, KDP books are being sold. It's gonna be tricky, it's gonna take some investment to create. Sponsored ads, it's gonna cost some money if we want to run that. And it's very competitive. So if I want to go into this niche, I'm gonna to have to do some further research and that's the keyword research. Now I have done a video on how I do keyword research. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Here's another example. Dot grid journal. Let's go through the same steps. Number one, are sales being made? Well, look at the first row. We've got all these very low bestsellers ranks. So straight away, criteria is met. Yes, the sales being made. Are there KDP books being sold? Well, if we have a look down, there's none that jump out to me. There's these sort of journal type books, but these are not KDP books. So yes, the sales being made but it looks like customers who are searching for this particular type of book are not actually buying KDP books. They're buying these, what I call sort of leather or fake leather bound moleskine type styled notebooks. So on that basis, I would probably reject this niche straight away. If you wanted to, you could go and have a look at some alternative keywords, put those into the search bar to see if there are KDP books being sold. Okay, let's get onto some of the more um, smaller niches from my little black book. And this will give you some ideas as well for niches. Okay, RV logbook, this has come off my list. Let's have a scroll down, ignore these sponsored ones for the moment. Okay, let's have a look at this first row. Less than 300,000, 24,000, that's good. And we've got this one here, RV maintenance logbook at 68,000. This one here is a camping logbook. So the sales being made, step two, are there KDP books being sold? This one's KDP, this one's KDP, this one's KDP. This one is, this one is, this one is. So yes, so this is a niche I would want to go into. Sales being made and they're KDP books for sale. Now, are they gonna be easy to create? Well, the covers, do have that sort of outdoorsy type look to them. So they don't look that complicated, but are gonna require some sort of specific graphics to create these to give it that outdoorsy feel. Let's have a look at an interior. Okay, travel log, travel log. Wow, this is very simple. This is a nice, easy interior. So this isn't going to take a lot of investment in terms of time and money to create. There are sponsored ads being run, so, may need to invest in money if I wanted to place ads in the future. And if we have a look at the search results, it's 1,000. Now that's my cutoff point. Anything more than 1,000 search results, I usually say that's a bit competitive. Anything 1,000 or less is a figure that I like and I say that's less competitive and a lot easier to get your books ranked on the first page of Amazon. So, making money, KDP books being sold, 
investment time, money, very little. Uh, there's ads being run, so I may have to pay. Search results, not very competitive. So this is a niche I would probably be, go straight into. So next book, we're gonna now run through this a bit quicker. Church membership record book. So 157,000, 143,000, 287,000 in terms of best sellers ranks. Yes, sales are being made, that's point one. Are these KDP books? Well, that is, that is, that is, that is, that is. So yes, people are buying KDP books. Are they gonna be easy to create? Well, these covers look very basic and pretty plain and that they would be easy to create and I think you could create something a lot better. What about the interiors? Well, it's just a basic logbook interior. Again, very easy to create. Sponsored ads, there's only one sponsored ad here on the first row and the search results are 175, very low. Again, straight into this. Wouldn't have to do any further keyword research. I like this particular niche a lot. Coin inventory log. Now, let's have a look. 309,000 seems to be the lowest on this first row. These all seem quite high. And then we've got these here with rank not found. So that's probably easy to get your book on the first page. However, sales, there's only one book around 300,000, that's 309,000. All the rest are quite high. Straight away, I would probably reject this outright. There's not enough money to be made here. Next book, payment record book. This was off my list out of my little black book. So I'm gonna scroll down. Wow, low bestsellers ranks. So people are buying books in this niche. Are there any KDP books? That's not KDP. That one's KDP, so we've got one there. Got another one, but that's got a high bestsellers rank. One here, but that's not got any rank at all. So this is a bit like the dot grid journal. What this is telling me is yes, the sales being made here, lots of sales, but customers aren't looking for KDP style books. Again, there's a particular style here that customers are wanting and they are not KDP books. I would reject it. Okay, here's a bonus one. Why not throw this one in? Notary record book. Let's have a look here. Okay, this is looking very good. Bestsellers ranked 13,000. Oh, 10,000, 286,000. This looks very good in terms of sales are being made. Are they KDP books? Yes, yes, yes. Oh no, sorry, that one's not. This one is, this one is. So those that are selling well are KDP books. So point one, it's making sales. Two, they're KDP books. Are they easy to create? Well, again, the covers look pretty bland, pretty plain, pretty normal. So yes, could create one of these easily. The interior is just gonna be a basic logbook interior. Again, very easy to create. So point three, it's not gonna cost much in terms of time and investment in money. Are there sponsored ads? Yes, there's a row there of four sponsored ads and those sponsored ads on the second row are also taken up. So it might cost me money if I wanted to, to run ads. What about search numbers? 1,000, okay, that's right on my cutoff. 1,000, so that's good. So yes, this would be a niche I would go into. Probably wouldn't need to do any further or much research in terms of keyword research other than finding other keywords that I could add into my listing in terms of the title and subtitle. Again, I go through that in my video on um, keyword research. So there's like some good examples of, of niches you may not have heard of. If you want to know how to go about finding your own niches, those little money-making gems, then watch this video next where I run through my process for finding niches. Thank you very much for your time. It's very much appreciated. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And until next time, goodbye.